Well, the middle of September means the peak of hurricane season. And we can't let our guard down just because no. Dorian has come and gone. CBS 17 Storm Team meteorologist Brian Hutton Jr. has a look at the tropics and why this time of year is especially important for everyone in North Carolina. Well, it is the middle of September, and that means we are finally at the peak of hurricane season. September 10th is the climatological peak of the year. Now, that doesn't mean that storm activity decreases as we head into October or November, but it does mean that we're really where we should be when seeing the most active tropical weather across the Atlantic. So we've climbed all the way up to here. The peak is Tuesday, September 10th, and we will start our down descent towards the end of hurricane season, which officially ends on November 30th. But research has found that most activity in the Atlantic occurs between late August and the middle of October. So there's still plenty of time for the next storm to develop. And this time of year, because it is the peak, the ocean water has warmed. There's a bit of a delay between the peak heating over land, our typical warmest time of the year is July, and the peak warmest time of the Atlantic Ocean, which is this time of year August into September so at this time of year anywhere in the Atlantic we have to keep our eyes open for systems because they can develop from off the coast of Africa where they develop as tropical waves into the central Atlantic into the Gulf Caribbean and the western Atlantic and they can kind of head in any direction hopefully curving out to sea and not impacting anybody but they can make a run towards the eastern U.S. the Caribbean or the Gulf of Mexico and since it is the peak no surprise there are three areas in the Atlantic we're watching one off to the north that's Gabrielle continuing to head out to sea one towards the Bahamas and one over the central Atlantic and of course we'll keep you updated all hurricane season long for CBS 17 News I'm meteorologist Brian Hutton Jr.